Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. Well guys, it looks like the wait is over and they finally got the Season 2 PTR up and running. And man, it's packed with new stuff. I will be over the next few days testing stuff and sharing with you guys what I find. And as always, I will try to keep everything spoiler free. In today's video though, what I wanted to talk about was the massive changes to the faction vendors. This is something I've been waiting for for a very long time, and I have griped about it in many videos. So to finally see some stuff being added got me more than a little excited. So let's not waste any more time and just get into it. So first, I will say in this video we will be checking the items out. As always, when you make a new character on the PTR, you are stuck with low faction rep and no tokens. Looking at you AGS. So I will need to grind these out tonight, but for now we can see what's new. First though, I will say the new loadouts for the PTR character backstories are looking very good. Small improvements to how they are stored, letting us neatly unpack everything as we need it, keeping things organized. I am loving this. I also see that although it's very slight, each PTR is coming with cleaner little improvements to the game's UI. It's definitely looking good. So anyway, let's check out the faction vendor. So the new stuff is all the way down here at the bottom, and what caught my eye first was these crates. So this is amazing guys. These are like little crates of experience for the various gather skills that you can purchase with faction tokens. So if you wanted to level something like fishing but just hated it, you could do it simply by PvPing. This might go a long way into encouraging PvP. If people can PvP yet still progress their character, that's pretty awesome. And of course you could do it by completing the PvE missions as well. And next, a very very exciting thing is this scroll here for 100k tokens. And I know that seems very expensive, but once you see what they do, you won't think so. So what this is, is an artifact item, much like any trophy item that will allow you to go and combine all of your trophies, your armoring trophies, your angry earth trophies, or whatever trophies, three of the same type, into one mega trophy, or better I guess, ultimate trophy, that will allow you to hang only one and still get the benefit of three. This will go a long way in allowing us to have every trophy type hung without having to go back and forth changing them. Only needing one trophy slot in one house to get the benefit of three trophies is just amazing. Then next, these look to be skins, probably added along with the transmog system, allowing us to wear our faction costumes without having to use the trash armor from the vendor, or wasting a token turning it into a skin. This is a great addition. And finally, the Shard of Pride. I'm not 100% sure what this does just yet, but I will be testing so as soon as I know I'll tell you. So overall guys, a very awesome change, especially to the trophies. We will very soon on live be able to use ultimate trophies and save us so much time. They also added the rewards for the season 2 track, so let's have a quick look at those. Overall basically exactly the same as Season 1, except with a new theme and name. Again, some cosmetic rewards, basically the same boxes, and with the addition now of the transmog token, but overall it looks good. And from the journey, we have a sandworm egg home decor piece. A new trophy for our home. And another new season themed armor set, just like in season 1. So guys, are you excited as I am about how the trophy system is working out to be? Man, I cannot even tell you how excited I am. Or are you just hyped for the new content? Let me know in the comments. I will be on testing so there will be much much more to come. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.